Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans with a special delivery from Planny Thing. This is Amber's shop. She's up in the Netherlands and she has a huge release for the autumn season and I've got all the goodies inside so I'm going to show those to you today. I do want to mention if you haven't seen the last few videos here on my channel, I am recovering from a little illness that we are all very familiar with and so if my voice sounds a little raspy or if I cough, um, that's why. So I am recovering from being uh, sick, but I'm doing okay guys, I'm doing okay. I cannot let it stop me from uh, living my best life and enjoying all the planner goodies. So we're, we're moving forward. So without further ado, this is the Planny Thing Autumn, the fall release. And I've seen some sneak peeks over on Instagram. All of these items are available now. If you decide to shop, I do hope you'll use my affiliate link and let's have some fun. First of all, oh my goodness, I think she sent me everything, which is crazy, crazy generous. Thank you, Amber. She did send these to me so I could show you guys all the goodies. Oh my goodness. I've, oh, <clears throat> oh, take my breath away, Amber. I have never seen her planner covers. And so this is my first, we're gonna do this first because it's not in, in the fancy packaging. We'll set this aside. Look, so this is a classic Happy Planner cover for the autumn season. Oh, look at the spider webs on the inside. That is rad. So rad. This is a little sneak peek, <coughs> excuse me, of the design that we're going to see in at least one of the sticker books. Let me grab a planner so we can see what it looks like. Let's see. We will grab this fitness planner and see what it looks like in the cover. So this should fit a classic happy planner. Yes, it does. And you can leave it just like this and then just pull the loops around like so. Okay. Or you could pop the other side in like so. Now this has a lot of pages missing because I pull it for um, planner pages, but here you can see what it would look like if you put it on both sides, if you popped it into the um, the pockets on both sides. So this is the planner cover. So if you are someone that likes to change out your cover seasonally and you want to have a little bit of fun and whimsy, this is awesome. You can also use the straps in here for various notebooks. So you would just pop it in here so it doesn't slide around. That keeps it nice and secure. And then pop the inside cover there. And that way you have it securely in your, um, or securely covering your, your planner. Cool! I've never seen these before. She used to do, Amber used to do like um, subscription boxes and I'd see them but I've never like touched one. It's very well made. It feels like it would be somewhat water repellent, stain resistant. So I really, really like that. And if you are a Halloween autumnal fan, then this is a really fun way to dress up your planner for the season. And I like that she came out with these in August so that there's plenty of time to get them shipped to your house. All right, so item number one in the fall release is this planner cover. Let's see what else she has going on. Now I know we've got some sticker books here, but let's start with the accessories, which I, so she sent me the summer collection, and I must say, I love this, the accessories more than I thought I would. Like the box, I don't know if you noticed when I was unboxing, I had used some of those sticky notes, summer uh, sticky notes to cover up the address. I have them sitting here on my desk. Of course, they're hidden by a bunch of stuff. Um, but I love the sticky notes, the pen from the summer, so cute. And I think we're gonna see more, more goodness in the accessory department. 
All right, so first we have a pen. It is a gem pen, so it's got orange and black and white kind of like crystal gems. And then it says plenty thing here. And it's just a nice ballpoint pen. Let me see right on the back of this. It glides really well. And it's just great to have a seasonal pen. You could throw this in your planner cover. You can use it for flat lay pictures if you're over on Instagram. So that is super cute. Then we have washi. Let's look at all the different washi options. Now, I think I mentioned this before in the um, unboxing of her summer box, but she used to do, or the summer release, she used to do boxes. And now because she doesn't do boxes, you can actually purchase these items individually. So that is a really great perk to not having a plenty thing box anymore. Uh, you can get exactly what you want. And actually I don't need that. I can see the perforation right here. So if you like one or two of these washi, you can just grab what you like. These are cool. I like that. It's like a matte, oh, it's like a matte black and the white is really crisp white. Spider webs. I like that washi. I don't have any spider web washi. Really cool. That's a nice design and it's got a nice like pattern to it, like a nice texture. So even if you weren't doing something like super Halloween-ish, if you wanted to add some texture to your spread, a little intrigue, then you could definitely use that washi. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. It is striped with some brown, neutral brown tones. I guess they're more warm than neutral. But here's this one. I like that. Good for a coffee spread too if you're not a if you're not an autumnal person, but that's really nice. This I'm sticking this on is actually sticker paper. So if stuff starts rolling off, that is why. Ooh, we've got some nice cognac. I'm going to call it cognac colored grid washi. This is an interesting width. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's kind of somewhere right in between. Let's see what this guy looks like. So here's the grid washi. I like that. It's um, it's almost has like a yellow undertone to it. I don't have a color quite like this actually in my grid collection. So I like that. So there's the grid. Now we've got some icons of autumn. So this, this is gonna be our pumpkin, Halloween-y pumpkin washi. That's cute. If I can find the opening, where is it? There it is. All right, so here is the pumpkin washi. Her washi rips really well. I really like the quality of the washi. Again, it's rolling off because this is sticker, sticker paper, removable sticker paper. And let's see this last one. This is gonna be more autumnal. If I can lift this off. And the hardest part, you guys, is getting, getting the washi started. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna have lots of acorns and leaves. And the color in the background is nice. It's kind of, a, it's a little pinky maybe. A little pinky peachy, if you guys can see that. And we'll rip. All right, so here are the one, two, three, four, five options for washi tape available in the Planny Thing shop now. Super cute, tons of options, tons and tons of options. So. There's your washi tape in the fall release. Now for the paper and vellum, which uh, I think was one of my favorite things from the summer release because I punched the paper and put it at the front of my planner and it looks so good. It's such an easy way to dress up the front of your planner. You could even laminate it if you wanted to and create your own custom cover. So here is the first cardstock and 
It's a haunted house. Very creepy. You got the ghosts, the cat. The back is cobwebs. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. <coughs> there are some words that are going to be very hard for me to say. Cobwebs. Say that when, you, when you're short on oxygen. Um, cobwebs, spider webs. So depending on which side you like more, you know, you could have that presenting. And then you could take another one like this autumn paper with the leaves on the back. And you could glue them together to make a cover or to make a dashboard. So what I would probably do, oh, this is tricky. Oh, well, let's keep going because we've got more. We've got the pumpkins. So you could rip this and put it in your planner. You could make a cover, you could make a dashboard. Here's your pumpkins on the other side. And then the last one of this cardstock, that is really pretty. These flowers, very pretty with the stripes on the other side. So what I would probably do is maybe, maybe I would take like the leaves and like I would glue this back to back. So I'd have the flowers on one side and the leaves on the other and then punch it for a dashboard. So then I have a double-sided dashboard, whatever kind of vibe I'm feeling, I can flip it over. Very cute. So those are the four different options for cardstock in the shop. Then we get to the vellum. This is very, this is a lot thicker than I was expecting. So this is kind of a um, acetate or like plastic material, matte black. It's got a little bit of a shine to it, but I can tell that the paint is actually like a frosted matte black. And then it's shiny on the other side. You can see, you can see a huge difference there between the matte black and the, the shiny black. And then your leaves. And that's a little bit more transparent because it's, a lighter color but this is where layering gets really fun in the front of your planner like if you wanted let's say I think the floral sheets could be very popular but you could do the florals and you could layer it with one of the vellum let's see what it looks like with the black it might be harder to see with the black yeah it's almost impossible to see with the black so then this would stand alone as its own dashboard so lots of options here to customize your planner. You can use it in spreads. Um, lots of different options for, for the different assortment of papers and vellums in this release. Okay, let's look at the sticker books. <clears throat> I should probably take a drink of water. I feel like somebody's gonna send, a, send me a message down, down in the comments to say, why are you filming when you're sick? Y'all, the planner world stops for no one. It does not stop for me. And I just didn't want this box to sit here waiting for me, <coughs> excuse me, to feel 100%. I wanted to see what was inside. So that's why we're going for it. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a paper pad. Did I know there was a paper pad? I don't know if I knew there was a paper pad. Oh my goodness. There are three new Planning Thing sticker books. Happy Halloween, Autumn Leaves and Florals, and Pumpkin Vibes. But let's look at the paper pad first. Oh my gosh, it's double-sided. Usually when you see a paper pad like this, it's just blank on the other side. It's just white. So that was very generous of Amber to print it double-sided. Really cool. It's a little thin so this is definitely meant to be a paper pad for just writing every day so it's not it's not cardstock um it's a, a little bit thinner like everyday paper but wow and i bet this is a teaser of the types of pumpkins we are going to see in our pumpkin vibe sticker book so love that if you're looking for a new paper pad a seasonal paper pad here it is all right, which sticker book do we want to open first? Let's start with the how. Let's start with the Halloween book. I'm the most excited for autumn leaves and florals, so I'm gonna save that one for last. So let's start with the 
Happy Halloween book. And this is gonna be a mix of probably matte, matte paper and clear stickers. Some of these are gonna look so rad, like these ones. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh yeah. These are gonna be really fun. Okay, so here is sheet number one. And I believe Amber does duplicate sheets, so you have plenty of stickers. So here is the first sheet. Lots of pumpkins, very muted actually. I like the tone of orange. So we have two sheets of those. Then we've got, and these are clear. These are clear stickers. Yep, they are clear. They feel so matte that I thought they were paper for a second, but they're clear. We have snacks and treats. All kinds of fun snacks and treats. I love the little drinks with the little marshmallows. Two sheets of those. Now we get to paper. So here are our functional stickers with functional boxes and I love the circles. I love when shops do different shapes. They give us shapes like circles and hexagons and stuff like that. So here are our functional boxes, some decorative boxes. We have two sheets of those. Ooh, now we're getting into houses, but these are creepy houses. These are back on the transparent sticker paper. These are fun. These are a little bit different than the ones in the Houses and Tree sticker book. I can already tell that these are more, more creepy, more kind of Halloween. So if you have the Houses sticker book, th this is going to be different. So feeling, feeling like that was a good call on her part to change things up. So we have two sheets of those. Ooh, I love these colors. So here are our functional boxes. This color is like a blue gray and it looks really cool next to that khaki. This colorway is my vibe. I'm feeling that. So there are functional. All right, now we're into clear stickers. We've got ghosts. And I, I like that they're kind of cute. Like this guy's like spinning out of control and he looks very sweet. I like the sweet ghosts. <laughs> They're adorable. And then we've got two different sizes of little skeleton men. Ooh, cobwebs. I love these. So these are such an easy way to like kind of add a little like whimsy to your spread without being overtly Halloween if you don't want to go Halloween. But you add a little bit of cobwebs with some florals and it just looks so cool. And this is a really interesting shape too. Like a, like a really old cobweb, these ones. And I like that she included some corner ones as well. That makes for decorating real easy. Oh, we've got some spooky trees. All of these have been clear. And these trees, I do not believe I've seen in the Houses and Trees sticker book. So, and I have both of them. Yeah, I have both of them and I haven't seen naked trees like this. So that's unique to this book as well. Very cool. And these can go, these can go both fall and winter, in my opinion, um, because there aren't leaves on trees usually in the winter either. So that's awesome. I love this sheet. So on the front of the book, I thought like the print of this makes it look like these are just black and maybe a little bit gray, but this actually printed a little more purple. That's cool. I really, I really like the font on here too. Awesome. Halloween Boo Spooky Trick or Treat 31 Boo Party October Haunted Ghost Boo. And then we get some black functional boxes and shapes. Of course, you gotta have some of those. Now we have some very true icons of Halloween. These are on clear. We've got a goblet, potions, books, all the things. And you get two sheets of those. The full moon, that's really pretty. Then we have more kind of whimsy, <coughs> excuse me, whimsy Halloween party vibes with some banners. Those are really cute to throw up in a corner of a box. And you can have things hanging. I like that as well. 
Then we have our functional boxes. I think the colors are excellent. She did a really good job with the color choices, kind of changing things up. Oh, now we have dogs. Dogs, Anna, that is a person right there. I see, I see those feet. I see those feet. I, I just, dogs are like my favorite. And so <laughs> seeing that she incorporated dogs in costumes is just so adorable. That's really cute. And then you have like a little Harry Potter pup. That's adorable. Cute, cute, cute. Then we have our functional boxes in a different colorway. And we have two sheets of those. So there's definitely kind of a color story going on where you've got your decorative stickers and then matching functional boxes, decorative stickers. So everything like along here is kind of in the blacks range. And then you have your black boxes. Um, so she's grouped everything really beautifully so that the boxes match the decorative stickers. So if you didn't notice that, I just realized that in flipping through this, that she's grouped everything together really nicely. So that is the Halloween book. I know a lot of people are looking for just pure, like a full on Halloween sticker book. And this is your full on Halloween sticker book. Okay, let's look at Pumpkin Vibes. I'm excited for this because there are so many ways you can draw a pumpkin and so many different colors that look awesome in pumpkins. And so to see a sticker book that's just dedicated to pumpkins in all their different colors is really awesome. Okay, 600 stickers, 30 sticker sheets. Let's get into it. All right, so we have a very traditional but like duo, duo chromatic combo going on here with some greens and oranges very autumnal and festive you get two sheets of these these are clear and then we go straight to our functional boxes and i love that we've got our hexagons so these will match the <coughs> excuse me the decorative stickers love that then we get into some traditional Halloween pumpkins. And I love that it's a mix of like the creams and whites with the oranges. So you can kind of change up textures and get two sheets of those. Those are clear. These are the same, but I think they're the same. They're just bigger, giving us a bigger, oh no, they're different. These are just different, bigger pumpkins. I know that sounds very, strange but I'm doing the best I can with my my brain situation right now these are a little bit bigger but they're in the same <coughs> excuse me the same um same style so you can mix and match across the the different sets of pages and then we have our functional boxes and hexagons I like that she did hexagons I think that was a good choice more hexagons please oh these are stunning I love the colors here. So we're kind of starting to add more blues and greens. This almost brings in a little bit of a rose color. And they're a little bit more true to pumpkins, you know, with their little bumps and whatnot. Those are really cute. I like, I like them a lot. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, that's gonna be a good spread combining these different bundles or groupings of pumpkins with the individuals. And I love this style of sticker where this is actually a cutout in the middle so you can write on the paper. So it's like a wreath. Let's see if I can lift it up. Yeah, so you can separate it. So this is, hopefully you can see that, but that is a wreath of a pumpkin. And I love it in the green color. This sheet's a win for me. Pumpkin market, farmer's market, and pumpkin. Cute, and then here you can see what those colors translate to with the functional stickers. Oh man, I am set, you guys. You can be set too if you check these out. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, what I, okay, let's talk about this sheet. This gives off the vibe that it's gold foil, but it has no metallic on it. And they're just out gold outlined pumpkins. 
This might be my favorite sheet that I've seen of all the sheets so far. To me, this is stunning and you can do so much with it. I cannot wait to create a spread with this. So these are clear and that means you can layer them. I have to pause on this for just a second because it's gorgeous. I love the look of gold, but metallic gold foil can be really frustrating in my planner sometimes. So to have the appearance of a lined pumpkin with gold foil, but it's not metallic. Oh my goodness. Amber, it's my favorite. If you're watching this, this is my favorite. Oh, but this is also really pretty. Ah, oh, look at how rich these tones are. Wow. Stunning. Each page keeps getting better. Oh, and the colors. These are my jam. These are my fall jams. So pretty. All right, now we're getting into a pink, pink and purple lover's dream. These are clear, super fun and non-traditional. So if you're just tired of orange and you wanna spice things up, look at this whole section of purples and plums and pinks, lovely. All right, now we've got like watercolor pumpkins. I love those, these are back on clear. Wow, uh, and like embroidered, or not embroidered. What, what is this called when you make the pumpkins with fabric and then you stuff them? Embroidery? No, it's not embroidery. You know what I mean, but these are like fabric pumpkins. <coughs> I'm sorry guys, sorry for the cough. Um, just really fun, really, really fun. This will be a cute spread as well. I like those a lot. I like the patterns of the fabric. <gasps> Ooh. Okay guys. Pumpkin vibes, get this book. This is not my favorite book that I've opened so far. But wait, last one. Autumn leaves and florals, please. I think this one's gonna be a stunner. It's gonna be a stunner. Hold on, let me take some water. Of course, my bottle is officially empty. It's okay, we're gonna persist. We're gonna persist. All right, autumn leaves and florals, 558 sheets, or excuse me, 558 stickers, 30 sticker sheets as we are familiar with. Oh my goodness. First sheet, we have beautiful, clear watercolor florals in kind of a neutral autumnal tone. I love the plums in here with these kind of peachy pink oranges, really pretty. And what I love about Amber's sticker books, all the ones that I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, that's six. Um, I love that she uses individual elements so that I can create my own custom bouquet. I can create my own custom spread. I like, when I'm in a rush, I like big clusters, it's fine. But for the most part, I prefer smaller pieces of illustration like this so that I can combine them with stuff like this if I want to. So do you guys see the difference? So you've got these larger clusters that we've seen from a lot of sticker shops, but what Amber does differently is she throws in sheets that are individual elements. And to me, that makes for a very good sticker book. So I love the combination of both and I just think it's gorgeous. Again, a lot of individual pieces are these in the same kind of color they're a little bit deeper and we've got some of this like eucalyptus green coming in but they're still complementary to those earlier stickers oh so pretty come on i mean they're gorgeous same thing if you're gonna do clusters <coughs> excuse me um you know throw in some individual pieces like this so that you can kind of flow things out, you know, like let the flourishes flow. I love them so much. These colors are gorgeous. All right, so here is our functional sheet with corresponding boxes and circles. And I like the circles with this. You know, let me go back to this for just a moment because we've seen with the Halloween book, she did circles as the alternative shape. 
in the pumpkin vibes, she did hexagons as the alternative shape. And I have to give Amber credit from a design perspective because when you're working with pumpkins, pumpkins are for the most part round. They're not a circle, but they're round. And so by her choosing to do pumpkins with the alternative shape being hexagons, she's doing a, she's doing us a design service by mixing up something round with something that's a hexagon. So I like that she did this and then back with the florals and back with the Halloween book, she went back to the circles. I think that was really, really, really nice. And I don't know if that was on purpose for her, but um, at least for me when I'm looking at sticker books, I, I'm i paying attention to those details and Amber's really good about those details. So her, her transition from pumpkin hexagons to back to circles uh, with the florals is really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, let's talk about leaves, please. Oh my goodness. These are great. They're like a mix of watercolor, but they also look kind of real. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think you guys, you guys are going to be seeing these sticker books a lot this fall. And these are all clear. Ugh, love them so much. Oh, so good. So good. Yes, 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 yes. Lined leaves. You can never go wrong with lined leaf, you guys. L lined leaves, the lined pumpkins, lined florals, they are stunning in a planner. They always make me do a double take. So pretty, these are clear. So again, you can do watercolor underneath, you can do pen, you can layer other uh, stickers underneath, like swatches of color. Oh my gosh. Amber, if you're watching this, I would like a sticker book that is all lined illustrations, like black and white, all lined. Lined leaves, lined florals, lined icons, like lined everything. Anybody watching this that makes sticker books, do it and then uh, show it to me because I'm sure I'm going to love it. All right, here are our functional boxes with our circles, which we know I love sunflowers. These are really pretty. I really like the tone of the green with the tone of the yellow. Some sunflowers turn really or like pull really orange in stickers, but this has a really nice, beautiful like marigold color to it. I like, and I like it with the colors of the leaves. Adorable. We're still on clear, clear sticker paper. So pretty. And then look at the functional sheet. This is a great functional sheet. I love seeing the green with the yellow together. That looks really pretty. Two sheets of those. Ooh, look at these florals. These are really interesting. They're not quite watercolor. Um, they almost look like if they were painted, they'd be like acrylic maybe. But I love the colors. Love the different textures of these. I'll get up a little bit close. The type of flower is very unique. Each one is very unique. I like it with these, these teal blues, but they're like kind of gray blues as well. Kind of ashy. Two sheets of those. Then we get our clusters of stickers when you're in a rush or you wanna do some connecting pieces get two sheets of those. Ooh, that's pretty. Love, love, love. She does a really good job of mixing up as well the um, functional boxes that have flourishes and decor and functional boxes that do not. I personally am a fan of functional boxes that do not have a lot of flourishing on them because I tend to go very decorative with my spreads. So the boxes add some grounding. And so I like that on this sheet, a majority of the boxes do not have things on them because I think that balances out the spread a lot more. So I love this, love the colors, love the sheet, love everything, wow. Uh, I apologize for the coughing and my breath being taken away multiple times. I'm doing the best I can. 
and trying to both like be excited but not so excited that it makes me cough, I am genuinely excited about this release. These sticker books are really good. I feel like Amber keeps getting better and better. Um, even if you look at the uh, the back, the back of these sticker books, like the Halloween one has the uh, spider webs, the autumn leaves and florals has the leaves and the pumpkins have pumpkins on the back. Like everything, everything in this collection, you can purchase it separately, but she makes everything so cohesive so that, you know, and I, that's probably the residual of her being someone who used to do sub boxes, but everything is incredibly like well thought out and coordinated. And yet you could have, you could purchase these individually and, you know, feel like you have exactly what you, what you want. So, wow, 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 wow. Okay, so here's the deal. All of these are available now. Um, this just came out to me a little bit after the release. So they everything's up on the Plan Anything website. I would love if you decide to pick anything up. Please shop through my affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything. But if you are excited about any of these items, because I am, um, it's just nice to, to shop through that link so I can get a small... Uh, commission off of your purchase for for having shown this to you guys and that's it I'm curious leave a comment down below of the three sticker books which is your favorite and what just what do you think of this collection I mean it's pretty it's pretty big I mean it's a big beautiful collection um, but I'd love to know what your favorites are so um, link information is down below and come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll stick around to see what I do with all these goodies. I'm so excited. The fall season is coming and I'm here. Oh my goodness. You guys, the washi tape. Forgot the wash. Do not forget the washi tape. Um, do subscribe to my channel if you want to see how I use these things. And it's going to be a good time this fall. So until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.